And the debris channel is back, and I got my computer going finally. There was water in it. It was a mess, and I am happy to be back. Thank you to Derek, my buddy. He uh, took the time out of his day to get it going. Nothing was wrong, seriously. We took some time to get it fixed, and now we are back. So here we are. Today we are talking about the Colorado River, and there is plenty to talk about. Wow, Lake Powell is really on the rise. Lake Mead's on the rise. All the lakes in California, as you know, is on the rise. Tulare Lake is really starting to have an impact and there's so much water to talk about. I have plenty to talk about but we will be talking about California later in another video probably tomorrow but today here we are. We are at windy.com and you can see that there's still more rain possibly coming here in the next three days. 0.19. It's not a whole lot of precipitation. However, there's more precipitation for the Great Salt Lake. Somebody asked to look that up. I haven't had a chance to look it up as I've been updating all these graphs because it's some several days behind from working on automation and then the computer crapping out on me. So here we are and you can see that they're going to get some more precipitation there near Salt Lake City and that's good news for the Great Salt Lake. Now the water is starting to come up. I did see a article on it the other day that, that it's actually above the south and north part of the lake and that's good news so the water is starting to spill into it and as we roll out here to Colorado as I was saying you could see there's more precipitation coming and then in the next five days it really starts to light up 1.98 now this is the european and the gfs and the european are disagreeing which is normal i will be using the gfs here in a second i just want to give you both aspects so you guys have a good idea of what's going on this is more rain than snow so this is a little bit of snow but check this out that's not very much snow it's more rain than snow now in the mountains himself there's more snow coming but a lot of this is starting to melt now and you can definitely tell at Lake Powell Flaming Gorge Lake Navajo and other lakes as well you could see how much they have come up when we get to the graphs here in a little bit while wow, they are really starting to increase and things are looking very promising than they were last year at this point in time so we will be talking about all this this is really fantastic news and good news is coming and then there's more precipitation coming we go to the 10-day mark in the european model and if this holds true this will be really great for colorado more rain coming 2.89 and i did hear a news report saying that this is wetter than 1983 in the mountains than it was in 1983 so here we are 40 years later and we are getting that kind of precipitation incredible just totally incredible. Who would have ever thought? Even down here, they're getting a little bit of precipitation between Lake Powell and Lake Mead at 0.62, according to the European. We go to the GFS, and you can see that the GFS has less precipitation over here and more in central and near continental divide you can see that there's more precipitation and denver over here is going to get almost three inches but check out here by steamboat springs 1.9 ville over here 2.09 aspen over here 1.65 1.29 just the whole state of colorado is going to get a decent swath according to the gfs now you got to remember the gfs has been more accurate this year than any other model in my opinion when it predicted all this precipitation over here in colorado California, it definitely was more pinpoint accurate than the European. The Europeans seem to over exaggerate quite a bit, but lately the GFS has been on fire. So I am going to say that hopefully this comes to pass and we get a lot more precipitation. Now, are they calling for more rain than snow here? They're calling for a big snowstorm, but not quite in Denver. So there's going to be a ton of rain and snow coming to the mountain areas. Middle of spring, this is all that we're still receiving this much snow amounts there now not all of it's snow because 1.8 that's not eight inches that would be maybe closer to 20 inches so there's going to be some melt included on this now it just depends how it comes does it come more snow early and then rain later we have to go back and see how the new snow pops out that's 10 days 24 5 so the majority of it comes the first five now what about rain accumulation we have to see that so you can see that a lot of this is within the next five days but you go the next 10 days 
degrees and it really lights up so it goes from 1.28 so you, you can see that the warmer temperatures are starting to come through and starting to happen therefore you'll get more melt once the snowpack turns more to a dirty color at some point which it happens in the mountains when that happens then the sun absorbs more of that snow and melts it a lot faster than it does when it's pure white because it just reflects so you got to keep that in mind as well they're saying by june that lake Powell could be 50 to 90 feet and they're hoping for 90 but I don't know if they took this all into consideration all this extra precipitation that's possibly coming if they do you're talking over 100 feet of water at Lake Powell so we will see what ultimately happens and this is fantastic news and much well deserved news this thing could possibly come up 100 feet and we'll be talking about that here in a minute so I want to roll out to the graphs and we'll start our presentation on that now we are at the Flaming Gorge 2000 2021 22 and 23 and you can see while wow, this thing has really come down it was down close to 6,005 feet and it really has shot up over the last several days and we'll be talking about this in great detail here in a second flaming gorge reservoir is up 0.04 in the last 24 hours the water level at the flaming gorge is currently 6011.79 feet msl sunday may 7 2023 at 10 a.m the level is 28.21 feet below full pool of 6040 and here we go for the last three years flaming gorge full pools at 6047 2021 the level was 6 6025.83 last year the level was 6018.83 this year the level's at 6011.79 but however as you saw in the graph before this thing was really on the rise and has really come up in the last 14 days by quite a bit and we'll be talking about that here in a minute your inactive pool is 5871 and your dead pool is 5740 flaming gorge is down 7.04 feet from one year ago flaming gorge is down 14.04 feet from two years ago flaming gorge is 140.79 feet from an active pool and we continue to roll on here here's your inflows and your outflows see that the inflows are current 7558 and your outflows are 802 so you're releasing very little there at the flaming gorge so very very little and flaming gorge is up 2.74 feet in the last 14 so it's starting to increase now flaming gorge sits up a lot higher than most so it's not really getting that full melt yet from the, the river and we will have to wait until that starts to happen which will happen at some point so keep that in mind and we go down to lake navajo and you can see that lake navajo is really starting to come up here it is and you can see how high it's gotten in the last several months back here in March it was way low and it's already surpassed 2021 and 22 and we continue to roll on here Lake Navajo's full pool level 6085 in 2021 the level was 6034.29 feet last year was 6025.39 feet and today's level is 6051.75 feet dead pool is 5775 feet the water level at Lake Navajo is 6000 51.75 feet sunday may 7 2023 at 10 a.m the level is 33.25 feet below full pool of 6085 and you can see that the lake level has come up 0.74 in the last 24 hours and that is really good and now we go out to lake navajo is up 26.36 feet from one year ago lake navajo is up 17.46 feet from two years ago lake navajo is 276.75 feet from deadpool and we go out to your inflows and your outflows next as we roll out to lake navajo's inflows and outflows you can see that the first level was 5409 that's your inflows and then your outflows are currently 511 out lake navajo is up 10.52 feet in the last 14 days and we continue to roll out to blue mesa 2021 22 and 23 and the level has really skyrocketed it is actually higher than both levels now of 2021 and 22 that's good news blue mesa's water level the water level at blue mesa is currently 7465.97 feet msl sunday may 7 2023 at 10 a.m the level is 53.03 feet below full pool of 7,519 changes since yesterday this thing has come up 0.65 as we roll out to the line graph you can see that the level is 7,482.03 feet in 2020 
2021, the level was 7,458.55 feet. Last year, the level was 7,440.97 feet. And this year, the level is 7,465.97 feet. Your dead pool is 7,358 feet. As we roll out to Blue Mesa's inflows and outflows, you can see that the inflows are 3,825 and your outflows are only 35. Who would ever thought? Blue Mesa is up 11.14 feet in the last 14 readings and we are scattling on today. We are going down to Lake Powell next and look at this. Lake Powell is already starting to climb. You can see that little drop where they flushed the system out and they, they flushed the water between. They really ramped up the outflows. Even then they were getting some heavy inflows. So during that period, which that's when my computer was down and whatnot, and you could see that it really dropped, but it didn't drop too much. It didn't even get below last year's level when that happened. And mind the thunder, it is raining outside here at the Debrinic headquarters so we will take it it's been kind of dry here in Illinois so we continue to roll on here Lake Powell's inflows and outflows and look at this the inflows are 52,079 that's incredible that is a lot of water coming in your outflows are currently 17,523 check this out so 52,000 in 17,000 down to Lake Mead that is really impressive and your lake has come up 4.61 feet in the last 14 days that is incredible ladies and gentlemen who would ever thought that would have happened back in october when i was there no never ever would i have thought that was going to happen this quickly but wow what a turnaround it has been and we continue to roll on here and your percentage of capacity is 23.87 percent of capacity and that is good news and we continue to roll on lake powell's water level is up 1.07 feet in the last 24 hours. Lake Powell's water level is currently 3,529.47 feet MSL Sunday, May 7, 2023 at 10 a.m. The level is 170.53 feet below full pool of 3,700 and we continue to roll on here. Lake Powell, full pool level is 3,700. In 2021, the level was 3,561.43. Last year, the level was 3,523.03. This year, the level is 3,529.47, so the lake is really coming up. And who knows, it, they say that it could come up 90 plus feet. And that's not counting all the rain that we just talked about. So you have to take that into consideration too. And I don't know if they have, I don't know if they haven't, but it could possibly, I'm saying that you're hearing it first. I'm going to say that the lake will probably be 100 to 120 feet higher than it is at the beginning of all this mess. We will see. Hopefully I'm right. We'll see. Lake Powell is up 6.52 feet from one year ago. Lake Powell is, is down 32.05 feet from two years ago. Lake Powell is 39.47 feet from an active pool. And Lake Powell is 159.47 feet from Deadpool. And we continue to roll on here. Down to Lake Mead we go. 2021, 22, and 23. And you can see this thing has really starting to increase. Usually this time of year it's on the downhill slide. You can see it's pretty normal for it to go down. And it's been the opposite. Well, this is from lake powell where they really released all that water and you can see that it come up quite a bit so that's that now it will as long as it continues to rise just slightly throughout the year then that'll be great come later we'll be watching to see what ultimately happens it really just depends on how much water is released from lake powell now lake powell does have to release a little bit more water than they did because last year they retained more water to keep those levels higher so they can keep the power going who knows what ultimately will happen we'll see we continue down to the water level as we roll out to lake mead you can see that the water level is currently 1050.36 feet msl sunday may 7 2023 at 2 p.m the level is 178.64 feet below full pool of 1229 changes since yesterday the lake has come up 0.03 feet and we continue to roll out to the last three years graphs we go out to lake mead's water level for the past three years and you can see that 2020 one, the level was 1,078.06. 2022, the level was 1,053.55. Last year, the level was 1,050. 0.33 so it's down a little bit from last year but it's still come up so that's good your inactive pool is 950 your dead pool is 895 we continue on one year ago lake mead is down 
3.22 feet. Two years ago, Lake Mead is down 27.73 feet. Inactive pools 100.33 feet away and dead pools 155.33 feet away. And we go out to Lake Mead's outflows and inflows. And your inflows are currently 22,026. And your outflows are currently 13,825. And Lake Mead is up 3.22 feet in the last 14 days. Also, Lake Mead's percentage of capacity is currently 29.78% of capacity. And we continue to roll down to Lake Mojave next. You can see that Lake Mojave is all over the place as it generally is. It goes up and down quite frequently. This is why you get the sharp lines up and down as it goes on. The water level at Lake Mojave is currently 642 Point eight nine feet MSL Sunday May 7 2023 at 12 p.m. the level is 411 feet below full pool of 647 Lake Mojave is up 0.09 in the last 24 hours and we go to your inflows and your outflows at Lake Mojave and your current inflows are 14,392 your current outflows are 13,877 Lake Mojave is up 0.14 feet in the last 14 measurements and we continue to roll down to Lake Havasu next and just like Lake Mojave, Lake Havasu is all over the place. It fluctuates from about 447 to about 449.3 or 4, somewhere in there. And today it's really high. As you can see, we are right here and we continue to roll. This is all over the place as generally it is. Sometimes it gets close to that 450 mark, but very seldom. And then they drop it fairly quickly. So it's all over the place. Hello to all my friends down there. Supercharge, I talked to you the other day. Glad to hear your voice. Glad all is well. And we go out to Lake Havasu's water level. And the water level at Lake Havasu is currently 448.96 feet. MSL Sunday, May 7, 2023 at 12 p.m. The level is 3.96 feet above full pool of 445. Changes since yesterday. The lake has fallen 0.21 feet in the last 24 hours. And we're at Lake Havasu's outflows and inflows. And your current inflows are 29,377. And your outflows are 9 9,767 and Lake Havasu is up 0 0.80 feet in the last 14 days. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope all is well and we will see you on the next one. God bless.